Okay, my name is Roberto Warfel. I'm coming from Grassmatch Technologies and I'm responsible for all fingerprint and palm print capture products at Grassmatch Technologies as a product manager. I will show you to demonstrate our latest release of a brand new Guardian, a 10 print scanner that will help to simplify the capture process, particularly for non-intended application scenarios. So what we see here is um, the latest version of the Guardian. It does have a local display for the user guidance and it, the main applications are civil applications where you usually don't have an officer close to you that helps you to capturing your fingerprints. So what the user usually sees is only this screen and this screen is up to the officer and therefore I will switch this screen off and having only this screen because this is the user. The user is now requested to capture four flat fingers. They are shown. Place his finger on the machine and they are done. Next hand, and you're done. And finally, the two thumbs. That's it. That's the entire capture process. If everything works well, so the user, of course, uh, the on, I'm sorry, the officer, of course, saw the live images and the actual fingerprint images. We can have a look on this. You can check whether the image quality is good enough or not. Obviously, it is very good. So, but this was the best case. What happens if something goes wrong? And usually people that are coming to a border or for a voter registration are not used to capture fingerprints. They need some help. So let's start this workflow again. Four flat fingers. I will switch this off. So let's say somebody plays his fingers too much to above. Then you see on the display you are forced to capture your fingerprints downwards. Or if I'm rotating the fingers too much, then you are forced to ro rotate the fingers in the right direction. So let's do it that way. Left fingers, also if, if you are too close to a border, you are requested to move your fingers to the center of the blade. And very often we see that thumbs are captured in the wrong way, that way. That is not allowed and that's why the user feedback tells you to do it in the right way. Okay. And basically then you are done. And that's it about the new device.